This is a Yale three lever sash lock. The plan is to change the hand of the sash lock from left hand, which is how it's delivered, to right hand. It's straightforward, provided the levers and spacers of the lock don't fly apart when you take the case off, as it did with me. Unscrew this. Open lid carefully, ever so slowly. And already you can see that one of the levers has detached. That's not a disaster. It's easy to put it back. I'm now going to change the hand of the latch, keeping my finger on the stack of levers and spacers. It's not very hard to do. Take out the cam. This thing is spring loaded, of course. So the spring. Dumped over. Slots in there. Now you can see, this is not rehearsed, that the stack is undone. So I would say the smart thing to do here is to put these on the order that they are just now. I'll come back to that in a moment. In the meantime, I want to get this fixed. And when the latch is in the right hand position, it's got a tendency to spring up. So I'm going to put a screwdriver blade under there to stop that from happening. Okay. Now I don't need this bit just now. So I'm going to turn my attention to these springs and spacers that flew apart a moment ago. Although I laid these out in a known order, the scenario is that the spacers and levers have flown apart in a random order and you have to get them back into the right order. The method here is simply to try each spacer and lever in turn. I'll take this one first and then attempt to use the lock. If it's the wrong lever or spacer, it won't work. Put that in there. Pop that over. Now I'm going to take the key and simply try to open the lock. I'll gently move the screwdriver out of the way and put the key in from the other side, keeping it as right angled as I can. As you can see, it's not going through, so that's not the correct lever. Now, I won't try every single one. Having learned my lesson the first time, I actually wrote the numbers on the back. So I know this is correct. So you'd have to go through all of these. It doesn't take that long. And here's the desired effect. Keep the key at right angles. As you can see, it's opening and closing. That won't happen with any other part. Now I'll move on to the next one. And once again, you've got a choice of four. One of them will be correct. I won't trouble you by selecting wrong ones. This is number two. Incidentally, you can learn to do that from the front if you're smart. And then number three. It gets increasingly difficult to make the deadbolt operate as you pile on more of these. 
that's it. Uh, these things care about gravity. If you, if you try and open them on their sides or back, they're not always reliable, especially when there's fat thumbs holding them wrongly. And the next one. There it goes. I need to just get it back now. Yep. A bit of manipulation there, and this has to be the right one. Um, I'm not even going to try that because it gets particularly difficult. Now it's time to reassemble the lock. Um, so I'm going to need that guy in there. And I'll put the screw in here to stop it springing apart. Oh. Now, at this point, I should be able to take my fingers off these, and it shouldn't. <laughs> it shouldn't. There. Got my finger off it. Now that's the ideal situation. The latch is not flying apart and the lock, the dead bolt is not. That's it. Now, quick check. Right. Job done.